so Governor, appropriately, the, the Philly suburbs and the city of Philadelphia gets a lot of attention, and a lot of people talk about the T, which is, the, let's just call it for lack of a better term, we know what it is, but it's not a center in the northern part of the state. I never think Allegheny gets enough attention. Yeah. And that's a quite, that's a lot of votes. Allegheny County is Pittsburgh and the surrounding areas for the uninitiated here. Uh, so I want to, I want to go north of Allegheny and I got, while well, I got you here, I got to put in a pitch for my tip, my friend, Tom Hagen. He really wants to get <laughs> Governor Waltz to, to Erie. So whatever you can do, and I'm, I'm going to really, to the extent I can push anything is to get Governor Waltz. And I think it'd be a smart place for him to go to Erie, I, uh, honestly. There's no, first off, I, I love Tom Hagen. Um, and I, th- I thought uh, Tim went up to Erie recently and, I think it'd be oh, great. Okay. Yeah, I think it'd be great to have him back and and have the vice president there. I go to Erie all the time. Erie is sort of one of these critically important swing counties. I've been privileged oh, to win in Erie every time I've been on the ballot, um, and it's an area where you got to compete really, really hard. Um, and it's an area that I think is up for grabs right now. So spending a lot of time there, Democrats are um, both the surrogates and and the candidates, and I'm going to continue to do everything I can to help there. You know, uh, things over my career, we, we were lucky if we could, we thought we'd get 37 in Philadelphia burbs in the four counties, we would be on track to winning. Of course, that no longer is the case. Yeah. But the one constant is Erie is, uh, was, is, and looks like will continue to be a kind of 50-50 county. It's a bellwether. Yeah, there, there's no question. Um, and look, Erie's also had uh, some economic challenges over the last number of years. Right. Now, we've made progress here. we made some critical investments there. And so I think the economic message is really important. And that's where I think you see a stark contrast, right? Kamala yeah, Harris talking yeah. about cutting child care costs, right? Having a child care tax yeah. credit. She's talking about investing in small businesses, putting money into small businesses and cutting taxes. That's the kind of stuff that resonates real well in Erie, unlike, uh, I think, cutting taxes for, you know, those who are at the top of the uh, of, of the earning bracket. No offense to them, but I think what what you really need to see on um, an economic message is something that speaks to the middle class, strengthens our union jobs um, and our unions in general. And that's Kamala Harris. So, so Governor, before I turn back to Al, we obviously have a very critical Senate race. You know, my dear friend, Senator Casey, do you expect that Senator Casey will run a little bit ahead of Vice President Harris? Uh, Are you you expected to be about the same? How do you how do you look at the differential there? Look, we'll see. It's close. I, I think poll after poll that shows the presidential race effectively, you know, a dead heat um, shows Senator Casey with a little bit of a lead. Um, but listen, uh, you know, these races are close, James. You know that. Uh, and the guy that Casey's up against is like a bottomless pit of special interest money. And so Ooh, you've got a man. whole lot of money being spent against Bob Casey. Bob Casey. Uh, is an honorable man. He is a dear friend. He votes Pennsylvania values in the United States Senate. He gets stuff done. He's focused like a laser beam on cutting costs for folks. And look, I mean, the guy he's running against, like, just he's just like not from here. He doesn't get it. And I, I think a lot of Pennsylvanians understand authenticity. And Bob Casey is authentic. 